Wonderful. Can everyone see this screen? Perfect. So the first program I will begin talking about is my program. It's the Resource and Information Center. Um, what the, the Resource and Information Center can do is provide one-on-one -on -one consultations when it comes to uh, resources and information in our area. Um, we do that through uh, having a conversation with you, um, figuring out what are what are the what are your needs, what is your care recipient's needs, um, and then we package that up. Um, all of the the supportive services related to age programs and also in the area, uh, we put that together for you and provide that to you. Um, and if there's a specific resource or, or piece of information that we don't immediately have on hand, we will take the time to do a little bit of research and, um, and create that uh, information for you. Um, this is free, so you can give us a call um, or send an email and uh, we will get, you know, we will schedule a time to, to talk um, or provide you that information via email. Um, about the services that you are uh, inquiring about. We do not um, do any case management. So setting up of service and making calls on behalf of you is not something that we provide. Um, but uh, taking the, the, the stress and the, um, the load of having to do research um, and, and searching for the programs that, that will be beneficial to you um, is something that we do, um, which that can be very overwhelming, especially if you are uh, in the middle of a stressful stressful moment in your life or in, in your particular caregiving role. Um, let, us, let us do the research and let us put the information together for you. Um, <clears throat> we also put on uh, and coordinate the uh, educational opportunities that we have. So the Resource and Information Center works um, with putting together uh, conferences and educational opportunities such as this one um, that are, they've been, they've been virtual um, since the start of the pandemic, but we are slowly opening it up to in-person um, programs. Um, we also, um, collaborate again when it comes to educational opportunities with other with other entities in the community to be able to provide you you know expert education um let's see so again if you have any questions about where to start when it's um you know for example if you are uh you know going to be turning 65 and you need to learn about Medicare, um, and you don't know where to call, give us a call and we will direct you to the appropriate agencies in the community that can walk you through that. Um, or if you're looking for in-home care and you don't know where to begin because it, you Googled in-home care and a bunch of, you know, a bunch of options come up, um, that's overwhelming. Come to us, we'll give you a, a smaller list to start with. Um, and, and, and also, um, the, the ones that are on lists that we have are, are vetted. Uh, we've heard from, um, our caregivers and our clients who, who we serve, um, we've heard back about, you know, these particular, uh, agencies, um, and so, um, so those are, those are just a few examples of, you know, reasons to call. Um, or if you're looking for respite, um, short-term respite, we have a list of uh, area, er, options in our community that offer, um, you know, short-term respite stays uh, for your person if that's what you're looking for. So lots of different, different, you know, reasons that you could give us a call, and um, it's just a really wonderful place to start when you are just trying to um, learn and establish services for you or, or your, your, your care recipient. 
Another program that we have is our health equipment lending program, um, which we call HELP. This is um, a program that offers free durable medical equipment and uh, durable medical equipment is uh, what's listed here. Wheelchairs, transport chairs, um, walkers, both standard and also uh, a rollator style. That's the one with the wheels and a seat. Um, we also have um, shower assistive devices um, like the toy, the shower transfer benches. Um, that's going to be an item that um, if you have a tub, this particular transfer bench can sit both inside and outside of the tub so someone can transfer into the tub safely and shower. Um, so we have bedside commodes. Um, these are all, again, free to the community. Uh, we ask that you, if you are interested in an item um, or in need of an item, that you give us a call first. Um, we will see if we have it on hand. And if we do, we will gather a little bit of information from you um, and then get you scheduled to pick up the item. Um, <clears throat> this program currently uh, is operating um, by appointment only. We want to make sure that um, we save you a trip, uh, you know, driving down into central Austin um, and, and make sure that we have the item before um, you make that trip and um, that we set it aside for you and it's all, you know, ready. So please give us a call um, beforehand um, to see if we have the item that you're in need of. This program also offers um, free monthly incontinent supplies. So that's the disposable adult um, pull-up underwear. Um, we also have the tab style, which open on the sides. <clears throat> Excuse me. We also have uh, bladder control pads, bed pads, wipes, um, gloves. Um, this is all free, again, to you, and this is no cost to you. Um, and this, the incontinent supplies can be uh, accessed once a month, anytime during the month, but just once a month. Um, if you're interested in learning more about that particular service, um, you can give us a call. And um, if we have, and if you're ready to move forward with uh, receiving supplies, we, again, can set up a, a time for you to come pick up the items um, if we have them on hand. This particular program operates um, on donations. So it is not guaranteed that we do have the items, um, but still we, we will let you know whether or not we have it or not. And then encourage you to give us a call back. So another program that AGE offers is Caregiver U. These, uh, these particular classes that you see listed are the core classes that we offer. This particular program is also at no cost to you. Um, these, we have two classes that are specific to uh, family caregivers. This is the unpaid family caregiver, family or friend. Um, caregiver. One of the classes that is specific to, uh, to caregivers um, is the Powerful Tools for Caregivers class. And this class is going to teach you uh, how to balance your life while caring for someone else. Excuse me. And um, you'll do this through a six-week course. So you commit to uh, one and a half hours a day uh, for six weeks, once a week. So you meet once a week for six weeks um, and you get to meet um, other caregivers who are in similar situations. Um, the class is a small class setting. So it's a pretty um, intimate class, which usually makes for, um, you know, a, a more comfortable uh, conversation. Um, and Again, you this class specifically will uh, support you in how to best care for yourself while caring for someone else. Um, a couple of things that are taught in that particular in the powerful tools for caregivers class is communication tips and tools, um, how to access uh, resources local to your area, um, 
how to get organized, um, how to ask for help. Um, you know, these, these things um, can often be uh, challenging, um, especially when it comes to asking for help. And this, this particular class gives you some uh, tips and tools on how to go about that, um, things to think about as you are caring and prepare to, to care long-term. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, the next class that is specific to family caregivers is our Savvy Caregiver class. And this class is specific to uh, the dementia caregiver. Um, and again, this, this class will teach you, um, it provides dementia education, what it is, the different types, um, because understanding a, a diagnosis um, is very important in order for you to at least have um, some, you know, as, as best of an understanding as you can about um, progression. Um, and then that helps you prepare for your long-term caring. Um, so Savvy Caregiver, again, is specific to the, to the dementia caregiver. And this, care, and this class um, offers, again, uh, the, the education around dementia, um, uh, how to balance your life, while caring for someone else, um, communication tips and tools, a lot of a lot of the core uh, curriculum that's also found in powerful tools, um, but then specifically uh, made for the dementia caregiver. Our third core class is a matter of balance, and a matter of balance is really, uh, I think, for anyone. Um, this is a false prevention class. So they're gonna they're gonna teach you um, how to identify areas of your home um, that could potentially lead to a fall. Um, they're gonna bring in a physical therapist to do some um, uh, muscle strengthening uh, exercises. Um, they're also gonna to talk about you know what happens if you do fall. Um, so this one, again, is all around uh, falls prevention and is really for, for anyone. So I just mentioned, you know, I just talked about our, our, our three core classes. And um, <clears throat> we have, you know, I just mentioned the powerful tools for caregivers, um, the savvy caregiver, and also the uh, falls prevention and matter of balance classes. These classes that I have on, on the screen right now are, are the condensed versions of what our core classes offer. Um, we understand that not everyone can commit to once a week for six weeks. They don't, some people just don't have that time. So we offer um, a shortened version um, still addressing and covering you know, core curriculum topics uh, within each class, but we offer this um, condensed version, which these classes can be completed within one week. Um, so for example, uh, typically these classes are held um, three times in one week. So on a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for one hour. Um, and again, you, you get a lot of the core uh, information in, in curriculum out of these condensed. So the empowering you to be a smart and healthy caregiver, um, this is a lot like the uh, powerful tools for caregivers class. Um, the empowering you to prevent falls is, uh, is going to hold a lot of information that you will find in the um, a matter of balance class. And then you have <clears throat> the empowering you to be a strategic dementia caregiver, which is um, mirrors the uh, savvy caregiver. So again, you have the six week classes um, that you know are beneficial in, in their own way. And also if you have that time, but if you don't, um, we encourage you to look into these, uh, these shortened mirrored classes. Um, Again, these are at no cost to you. Um, all the classes can be found online um, at the Caregiver You uh, website. And um, they are updated regularly. Um, we have wonderful partners in our community that have been trained by Age of Central Texas to teach 
these classes um, and then take them out into their community. So they let us know um, whenever a new class is gonna be held. Um, and so what we do is we post it online. Um, and also you can, uh, they also post it to the, the main Caregiver U website as well. So if you're not in the Austin area, you can also go to the Caregiver U website and find a class that's local to you. Um, we are offering, uh, right now in our area, we have both in-person and online courses. So that is all listed um, on the website, whether or not it's gonna be in-person or virtual. Um, and then it has the, the contact person for it, to register. So it's a pretty easy um, way to access these classes and get signed up to, to start. And so now we're at Memory Connections Online and I'm gonna hand it over to Nicole to talk about this wonderful program that we offer. Thank you, Natalie. Um, I'm really excited to talk about Memory Connections and I know I could go on for days talking about it. I'm really passionate about the work we do and the people that we work with. Um, but Memory Connections Online is a subscription-based program where we offer engaging small group activities up to five days a week, usually Monday through Friday. Um, our group sizes range from five people to 14. Um, and all of these activities we have, there's about 10 of them per week that are offered. Um, not everyone participates in every activity because not everyone likes everything. All of the activities that we do offer are evidence-informed and designed specifically for those experiencing mild to moderate memory loss or changes in cognition. We have some people in our program who say, you know, I'm starting to notice my memory might not be so great. I can't really recall information, but I've never talked to my doctor about it. And we have some people in our program who are in the moderate stages of an Alzheimer's diagnosis. So we're, we are really able to serve um, people between that entire range there. Um, and all of these activities are offered online. Um, so you may hear that and say, oh goodness, this will not be the program for myself or my care recipient. Um, and I encourage you to keep an open mind because you may be pleasantly surprised um, by how someone may react to being online with their peers. Um, a lot of times I get inquiry calls and people say, oh no, my mom won't want to do that. My spouse won't want to do that. Um, then they get on a, a Zoom call with me and then the, you can see the care, uh, the care partner in the background being like, oh my gosh, I can't believe they're engaging with you. This is great. Um, that is our goal. We love moments like that. Um, and we have, like I said, we have um, lots of different activities throughout the week. And some of these activities include discussion and reminiscence groups, brain exercise, physical exercise. We have social groups. We have a lot of music activities like Name That Tune and live music where we actually have musicians in Austin um, come on Zoom with us and play music for us. And we also offer an exclusive support group for those who are living in the early stages of a memory loss diagnosis. And that group is facilitated by a licensed professional. And um, so we're able to really cater our group to the needs of what is it like to live with early stage memory loss? What are some of the challenges? And talking with a group of peers is very, very powerful. Um, and we also provide assistance to those who don't have access to technology or don't know how to use it. We do not want that to be a barrier to attendance if this is something you want to do. Um, we partner with a wonderful program in the community where they can um, get you set up on a tablet device, teach you how to use it, um, to make things go as smoothly as possible. You just have to let us know because we are happy to help. Um, and this is one of our programs at AGE that does have a fee associated with it. And it's $100 per calendar month. Um, of course, AGE is a nonprofit organization and our goal is to serve as many people as possible. If you hear that number $100 per month and you're like, that is not feasible for us. That is going to be a barrier to us receiving services. Please let us know. Um, we do offer sliding scale fee application options for people who apply for them and qualify. So we really don't want um, finances to stand in the way in the way between you getting these types of services. Um, all of my contact information is on this amazing slide here. Thank you. Um, and that is my direct contact info. It will come straight to me. It doesn't go to anybody else. Um, and I think there's Natalie, I'm just noticing, we don't talk about the support groups that AGE offers. 
um, very much. Um, and uh, we have a support group for care partners specifically, caring for someone living with um, changes in cognition or memory. It's not part of the Memory Connections program, but I do facilitate it. Um, and that group meets online on Friday mornings, um, and we meet every single week. And it's, it's offered at no cost to you. Um, so that I think is a really unique uh, thing that age offers is we wanna be able to, yes, support you through all of these resources and things like that. But we also um, offer that um, those support groups where we can offer emotional support and um, peer support. Um, it's a, I always recommend going to a support group with your peers because nobody knows what it's like to walk that journey as well as those people in that support group. And they can offer insight from their personal experiences. You also have um, an age staff person or volunteer there who can answer those nitty gritty questions about resources or information. And if we don't have the answer, we find it for you. Um, so I know that that's just about the support group that I facilitate on Friday mornings um, online. Um, Natalie also facilitates a support group and um, Barbara Wiederanders uh, facilitates a couple of support groups. Um, and these are all just for the unpaid, untrained family caregiver again. And those are offered at no cost to you. Um, so really being able to offer uh, support to the person who's experiencing these changes in cognition and the person who is um, caring for them. Because if one person in the family is experiencing these changes, that means everybody in the family is experiencing these changes or being a part of that. Um, and I am gonna have to leave early, but I see that we have a question in the chat about what is the name of the support group that Nicole facilitates on Friday? Um, this is called, it's very vague name. It's like a dementia support group for care partners. It doesn't have a fancy name like other age programs do. Um, but if you're interested in learning more about that opportunity, again, you can email me at the email address on your screen now, or you can give me a call because I'm also the person who handles all of those inquiries. And if the support group I facilitate isn't a good fit. Um, Natalie and I work together very closely. So um, as always, if you don't know where to start, just start at the beginning and we'll point you in the right direction. Thank you. I'm glad that you mentioned the support groups. Um, and I'll talk a little bit about that a, a little later too, but um, yeah, so each does offer several support groups. My, my groups specifically are, um, the adult child caregiver support group. Um, we uh, So if you are an adult child caring for a parent, you are welcome to join our group. Um, it is uh, non-disease specific. So if we have, we have people who um, are caring for a parent living with uh, chronic illness um, and also with uh, living with dementia. Um, so we, I, I encourage you to, to reach out and let us know. This particular adult child group meets every other Wednesday and our next meeting is um, next Wednesday at 4 p.m. Um, so, so we meet uh, every other Wednesday at 4. Um, I also have a support group that will resume in-person meetings um, at the Onion Creek Senior Center in Buda. Um, this and, and you'll, you'll get all of this information later too, but uh, that particular group is uh, meets the third Tuesday of the month um, at 12 p.m. And so at the Onion Creek Senior Center in Buda. Um, and this is again, non-disease specific, um, open to, um, to any unpaid uh, family caregiver um, to, to join. So thank you. And thanks for joining us this morning and talking about memory connections. I'm so happy to be here. I do have to say it's a little odd that I can't see the people, the other people who are here as far as participants. So that's throwing me off a little bit, but I can see your names. So um, thank you all for being here this morning. Um, actually, while I still have you on, um, I would love to, to just briefly share with everyone that um, in the month of May, we are still working out all of the details. Um, we will be providing uh, you all an opportunity to join in and participate um, with uh, a Memory Connections online activity. Um, we are, again, we're still working out all of the details, and this will be a very small group. We only have space for um, a limited amount of people. 
Um, but more information will be coming out about this opportunity to come just try it out. If you are interested in exploring memory connections online, um, it, this will be the perfect opportunity to, to jump in um, with your care recipient. You will be able to participate and your care recipient will be able to participate in, um, in an activity uh, with both me and Nicole will be, will be there. And it will be held online um, because the program is online. So again, more information to come on that. I don't know if you have anything to add to that, Nicole, or? No, I think you said everything beautifully. Just Perfect. always encouraging people. If you think you know your care recipient and what will work well, I know you know, but you never know for sure until you try. Um, so if you get there and you hate it, um, the wonderful thing about Zoom is that you can leave at any time and you don't have to hustle and bustle to get out of the space. You just close your device and you're gone. Um, no hard feelings whatsoever. Um, so yes, just encourage you to try something new with us. Thank you. And again, thanks for joining me this morning. All right. Oh, no, wrong way. So the next program I am going to talk about is our Thrive Social and Wellness Center. This particular program is uh, an adult day program. Um, we operate Monday through Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Um, again, it is a daytime program um, for individuals living with um, cognitive impairment or, uh, uh, you know, mobility challenges, um, or a, an adult who um, is just interested in socializing. This is a perfect program for, for that individual. Um, we have two locations. We have one uh, right at the, the, the city line of Round Rock and in Austin, um, so it's our Round Rock location. And then we have another location in central Austin, which is located at our, our main building um, at 3710 Cedar Street. We are near the Guadalupe and 38th Street intersection. Um, this particular program offers our members um, a tons of socialization in um, brain activities, uh, physical activities through um, Zoom and chair yoga. Um, we also, when I mentioned brain activities, there's a lot of trivia and crafts, um, just fun games that, uh, that are done throughout the day um, and throughout the week. We um, offer our members uh, a lunch and we offer them a snack both in the morning and um, in the afternoon. Um, we also offer transportation if that is, um, if your person is safe to ride our transportation and um, transportation space is available, um, we, we do offer that. We have, um, this particular program does have a fee of $70 per day. This is a flat rate fee. Um, so if let's say an individual um, begins to attend our program and um, transportation works out, we, we are able to pick them up and bring them to our program and take them home. Um, there's no added cost. It is a flat $70 per day. Um, we, we have a nurse on staff um, to help with medication management. We are licensed by the state of Texas. So we have, um, you know, we have that uh, and all of those rules to follow. And, um, and so we also, um, we're, we're accessible in so many ways. Um, and we, we accept Medicaid recipients, um, VA benefits, uh, long-term care insurance, um, and typically, if you if you have long term care insurance, that um, a policy will you know if your particular policy allows for you to uh, you know uh, go to an attendant a program like ours, um, we the family typically plays up front. Age will give you documentation needed to provide to the long term care insurance for reimbursement. Um, but again. Um, we, this is a Monday through Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. program. We have two locations. 
Um, again, we offer uh, the meals, transportation, um, and uh, lots of fun activities. Um, and we, uh, this another, uh, just like uh, Memory Connections, we really don't want um, a barrier to be the reason why you don't explore this program or, or have this, you know, have your person attend this program. Um, we will do what we can to work with you. So if $70 per day at a private pay rate is um, a little much for, for you and your family, um, we encourage you to reach out to us. We do have a sliding scale option um, and we are always happy to um, have a conversation about cost. Um, we are also, uh, it, we also encourage you to talk to us about transportation. For some reason, if our transportation does not work out, um, our program director and our staff and our Thrive Social and Wellness Centers will work with, uh, will help you figure that out. Um, and if that means that, you know, it's, a, it's connecting you to um, Cap Metro or uh, one of the, you know, local drive seniors, um, we will help. So we don't, again, if we don't want a, a barrier to stop you from exploring this program. If you are interested in learning more about our Thrive Social and Wellness Center, um, I encourage you to give us a call. I'll share every program's contact information in the follow-up email so that you have direct contacts. Um, and, and we are happy to, to have a conversation with you and answer all the questions that we can. Um, again, uh, we, we are a nonprofit. We work really hard to um, make our, all of our programs accessible to the community. And so if there is a barrier that, that you're worried about, give us a call. We wanna help try to figure that out um, with you. And, and um, you know, we are here to, to support you. Um, I will mention that I've heard, and I and I know that um, several of our members and, and families um, we've heard from caregivers say that you know attending our our program during the day has often um, offset the cost of having to pull in a, an in home care agency full time. Um, so so I encourage you again to explore this particular program for daytime care. It'll give you a break as the family caregiver. Um, your person will be somewhere safe um, and, and around other people um, to socialize with and they will be engaged the entire time that they are with us. Um, again, please drop any questions about this that you have in the chat box or you're welcome to email me after um, or contact the program director uh, um, directly. So I'm gonna hop into the uh, helpful resources that I just love to share with every person I talk to um, uh, related to aging in Central Texas and also caregiving. Um, this is the Caregiving in Central Texas guide. If you have been to uh, my other presentations, you will, you're probably familiar with this by now, but I always like to, to talk about this because it's just really helpful. And it's not just specifically for caregiving, it's for um, you know, an aging adult in the community. Um, it's a wealth of knowledge. There are tons of resources local to Austin and the surrounding areas in this book. Um, there is an online version of it. And uh, we also have hard copies. So if you would like a hard copy um, for yourself or to share, we have plenty on hand at our Central Austin location. Um, I just encourage you to call me or send me an email and let me know that you wanna pick some up and I will get them all packaged and ready and um, you can swing by to pick them up. Um, again, this is a wealth of knowledge to just have on hand. Um, this is gonna cover um, everything from um, uh, care management. What is that? who's doing that, support groups, um, hospice, palliative care, um, housing. Um, this is 
just a really go, really wonderful go-to uh, resource guide. Um, and lots of different agencies, Age of Central Texas included, come together to create this for you. So it's a very you know, wonderful collaborative resource guide. <clears throat> the next um, guide I love to share with everyone is all about transportation. And this is through the Office of Mobility uh, Management. Um, and these uh, transportation guides are also available online. Um, and, and I do have some on hand uh, at our office. So if you would like a caregiver guide or the resource guide and um, transportation guide, let me know. I'd be happy to get you, uh, you know, a book. Um, sometimes looking at online guides is, uh, is, is a little bit more challenging for, for some. You know, I know that I personally like to write notes or put tabs on an actual book. So if that's how you, how you want this information, just let me know. This particular resource uh, covers transportation um, from free services to um, paid services in the area. And also, um, for example, how to access uh, um, a, a disability placard, you know, a, a card that will that you can have um, in your vehicle uh, to use for parking. Um, how to go about that, who to call. It's just a really wonderful guide with all of that information. I have used it um, when it comes to uh, my mom um, and we're in the process of getting her uh, a placard so that when I drive her to uh, the store or to a doctor's appointment, I can, um, I can park close enough because she has difficulty walking long distances. So again, if you want this, reach out to me and we will schedule a time for you to come pick it up um, or I can drop it in the mail. Another wonderful resource to, that I like to share with people is 211. Um, they can offer referrals, services. Um, they have uh, bilingual staff. Um, and they will also connect you to local organizations that, um, that will provide the services that you're inquiring about. Um, and it's free. Um, again, I sometimes um, people can often forget it, that 2 on one is there, but I love to just put that um, back into, into, you know, in the forefront of your mind too, that this is also a wonderful resource. Another great agency that I encourage you to just add to your, your list of um, helpful agencies in the area is uh, the Area Agency on Aging. This particular um, program is, uh, is a federal program. Um, they're located in every single state. Um, in, we have several throughout the, the state of Texas because they all handle specific uh, counties and regions. Um, this particular one that, that um, covers the uh, Travis County, Williamson, um, it's actually a 10 county region. So Travis and then a bunch of surrounding counties around us um, is, the, is our local area agency on aging of the capital area. Um, this particular agency, if you are a caregiver, um, they offer a caregiver support program. Um, this particular program will give you uh, access to um, an, a pretty thorough assessment um, and also provide the, the family with um, respite uh, care. So again, respite care is giving you a break. It's providing um, in-home care. This is, is temporary, but it's free. Um, oftentimes I have families who might have a person that they need some in-home care for, um, and their, their care recipient is somewhat resistant, um, to having somebody else come in. This is a wonderful way to introduce that. Um, so the caregiver support program that they offer not only, um, you know, is, is providing support to the caregiver, it also provides care to the care recipient through the temporary in-home care service. Um, if you are in need of emotional support, they will connect you to uh, a local agency 
that they work closely with to provide that. Um, if you are a dementia caregiver, they will connect you to um, an individual who provides one-on-one -on -one, uh, dementia care consultation. Um, they will assist with referrals. Um, you know, if, if, if baby Meals on Wheels is something that um, could benefit you and your family, um, they will set it up. Um, and then they'll, they can also talk through uh, Medicare, Medicaid questions, all of that. And that is through the caregiver support program. Um, they also do this, uh, they have a care coordination program that offers in-home care assistance for uh, older adults in the community that um, maybe live alone um, and need some help. Again, the services are temporary, but it's a really wonderful way to get some assistance. And also in the meantime, while you're receiving the temporary assistance, um, they will work with you to create, you know, establish more longer term uh, services and support through referrals. And, um, and it also gives you an opportunity to, to, to you know, uh, plan long term for yourself. Um, the, they work very closely with the Aging and Disabilities Resource Center, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, they have an ombudsman program. So if you, if you or your person or someone you know um, lives in a long-term care community and is having a hard time there, maybe has some complaints, the ombudsman program through the Area Agency on Aging is your go-to. Um, they will uh, investigate what's happening. Um, they also provide benefits counseling. So any Medicare questions, um, that is your go-to. Uh, their services are free um, and they will walk you through anything and everything Medicare. Um, and they'll be able to share with you local plans um, that are available to you and also um, assist in Medicare savings programs. Um, they have health and wellness education. Um, they have uh, the respite assistance that I just uh, talked about um, through the temporary respite uh, in-home care type of assistance. And then the quick care coordination that I just mentioned. So the um, Capital Area Aging and Disability Resource Center um, they have some really wonderful programs as well where um, they do they can help with housing navigation. Um, they have a, a, a wonderful uh, link on their website that can help you um, find uh, affordable housing and housing in, in our area. Um, they can offer the, uh, they have Austin Energy Plus One program, um, which can sometimes, uh, well, that can help with um, energy bills, so if that type of financial assistance, if it's available. And I just noticed that my bullets are a little off here, so um, I apologize for that. I'll, set, I'll fix that before I send this out to everyone. Um, but I want to mention this Lifespan Grant Program. This, this grant program is um, financial assistance towards respite care. And as you can see here, that's uh, my bullets are in the wrong spot. Um, that type of assistance, uh, when it's related to respite, it, it could be in home. Um, so it's a home care agency that is providing the service within the home, center based, um, which is uh, like our program, our Thrive Social and Wellness Center. I know we've had members who um, have utilized this particular grant in the past to help pay for the cost to attend our program, um, uh, community access uh, and um, camps. So this is under the Lifespan Respite Grant Program. And this is, if you're interested in um, learning more about that particular grant opportunity, I encourage you to call the Aging uh, and Disability Resource Center. Okay, so this is another helpful tool um, because housing is, affordable housing um, is definitely an issue here in our area. Um, this is, a, is a, a wonderful locator to use. Again, um, everyone will receive all of this after the, the, our conversation. 
Um, so this is a, a way to find affordable housing um, near you in um, housing authorities. Um, and again, here, if you, as you can see, um, find a affordable uh, housing for older adults and individuals living with special needs. Um, I just like to share this with everyone because it's nice to have you know, different options to, to be able to search for, for housing. And um, so one of the, uh, one of the programs that I love to talk about is Meals on Wheels, um, specifically because um, talking to people over the years, um, a lot of people think that it's, have thought that Meals on Wheels just provides meals. Um, and it's not, they have so many other wonderful programs. They have an in-home care program, which is providing the non-medical care within the home. Um, they have a private pay option, and then they have a sliding scale um, option. So they offer in-home care. Um, they also accept uh, you know, Medicaid recipients. So if you are in need of in-home care and you're looking for an affordable option, I encourage you to call Meals on Wheels. Um, they offer some uh, home repair services. It uh, depends on the home repair. Um, they offer the PALS pet assistance. So um, for example, if you are, um, maybe you have a, a medical procedure coming up that's going to require you to stay in a skilled nursing um, care community for a little bit of time after to recover, and you have a acute pet that needs to be cared for, um, they can help connect you uh, to a program here within Austin to have your pet taken care of. Um, so I think that's just a, a really wonderful service and program that they offer. Um, and then they are, then they have the Hope Grocery Delivery for Older Adults program. So it's not just meals, they, they have a lot of other wonderful programs that I, that I like to mention. Family Elder Care is also um, a wonderful program here within our area that provides guardianship um, services, uh, money management, um, they have this, uh, the program, the Lifetime Connections Without Walls. It's a, um, I believe it's a phone activity program that you can participate in. Um, In-home counseling, um, which I, I, you know, I, I know I have connected so many families to that particular program. Um, so again, this is another wonderful agency in our area to, to just have in your back pocket. Uh, mental health services is um, so important. Um, especially as we are, um, well, it's hard to say that we're coming out of this pandemic, but as life kind of turns, you know, gets back to normal um, and we reflect on everything that we have been through the last couple of years, it's good to just have a really wonderful agency in our area to go to for mental health and emotional support services. And you can get that through NAMI Central Texas. Um, I always feel like it's important to share a mental health piece um, because that is part of keeping ourself um, well and healthy. Another wonderful uh, organization is AARP Texas. Um, they have tons of resources and information when it comes to education um, and caregiver uh, assistance and um, they also do referrals and um, can provide one-on-one -on -one assistance. So they're just a really well-rounded organization that I, I encourage you to, to reach out to as an older adult or a family caregiver. They have so much information to share. Um, this particular program, the, the agency Alzheimer's Association, I love to share as well. Um, with our online resources, their support groups, they hold um, really wonderful conferences, um, participate in referrals um, to, to get you connected to other resources in the community. I love to share this specifically for you know, our, our Alzheimer's and dementia caregivers. And then we have our local um, Alzheimer's Texas chapter that also provides online resources and support groups. Um, they have a wonderful list of uh, support groups 
and respite care options um, in our community, which will also be shared with you all. And they have their 24 seven helpline that I've included here um, for calls. Um, and then also again, the, the referrals. I love how all of these agencies are, you know, we all work together at the end of the day by submitting referrals and trying to get our, um, you know, our caregivers and our clients connected to um, ser services that will best support them. Uh, another, uh, you know, some other tools that I like to give everyone is the residential care communities and memory care links. These are links that um, that can help you find uh, local places that provide um, long-term care and memory care. Um, you can go to the Medicare.gov to do um, to see, you know. Uh, reviews, as well as the Texas Health and Human Services Long-Term Care Provider Search. Um, I also encourage you to reach out to a senior living advisor. We have so many wonderful senior living advisors here in our area that if you call me um, or age, we can provide you with a list of, of senior living advisors. These particular advisors are free to you. Um, they can help with the research of finding the best long-term care community for your person based on needs, cost, location. Um, they will provide you with a, a list of options based on all of that. And, um, and it's, it's really helpful um, to have, especially if you, again, Google, you, a lot of places will come up and they, they have a wonderful database and a uh, way to search and, um, they can also talk you through um, Medicaid related to long-term care, um, uh, long-term care insurance, you know, and how that works. Like they, they are just a wealth of knowledge and support. And again, it's a service that's at no cost to you. Um, they are compensated by the um, long-term care community that you end up choosing. Um, and so again, they, they, I highly encourage if you're at that moment um, with exploring long-term care com you know, communities for yourself, um, not even long-term care, it could be also an independent living. Uh, they can help with all of that. Another wonderful uh, link to, I like to share with everyone is the findhelp.org. It was uh, created by Aunt Bertha, it was previously Aunt Bertha. Um, but this is a really wonderful tool to just like, it's a search engine that you can just type in what you are looking for, um, and it'll pull up local agencies that can assist with, with um, the services you're looking for. So um, the additional Central Texas resources, again, I, I like to remind people of our join a support group. You don't have to share, you can just listen. Um, Try it out. I still have people who attend my support groups who are, they, they get so much out of just observing and hearing other people talk about their particular experiences um, and situations. Um, again, there's no pressure to share. Um, it's, it's often really, really comforting on some level to, to know that you're not alone in, in the feelings that you feel um, or the thoughts that you have. Um, so I encourage you again to, to just explore a support group if you haven't done so already. Um, again, counseling support is also, you know, important for you as a, as a family caregiver, just you as a, as a human um, moving through this life. Um, I also like to mention the geriatric care managers. Um, this, you'll also receive a list of these. This is, um, a care manager is somebody who can help with establishing services. They do the actual care management. Um, they can help with long-term care planning, um, crisis planning. What happens if I get sick and um, who's gonna take care of my mom? Um, where are all the documents? Um, do I have all my documents in place? They can help with, with this. Um, they do have a fee for service. Um, so it, it ranges with, with the different care managers and their companies. But um, if you're able to do this and explore this option, um, I encourage you to do that. Um, there are some 
there's some older adults who have reached out to me in the community who don't have anybody. They have, um, maybe their family lives in a different state and they're living in Austin alone. Um, and they're looking for uh, a guardianship opportunity um, so that uh, someone else can handle their, you know, their estate, their medical decisions, you know, all of that um, finances um, instead of a family member. Some of these care managers also offer that type of assistance. So um, I also love to encourage everyone to um, seek out disease specific organizations, join newsletters, subscribe to them. Um, if, you're, if your individual is living with Parkinson's, we have an amazing group here in our local area. Um, if, you're, if you or, or your person has um, been diagnosed with you know, a, a specific other you know, type of dementia, um, look up to see what's out there. Or if it's a chronic illness, Google, see what other organizations are out there that could pr potentially provide um, support through a support group or even education. And that is it. I could probably add more, but we would be here all day. So, and I want to be mindful of everyone's time. Um, so if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the chat. Um, and I'm happy to... Um, answer them. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. And I know that we had a couple of questions already in the in the chat. Um, so I'll answer this. I failed to uh, mention donations related to our health equipment lending program. Um, yes, again, we operate solely on donations. So it's I, I love this program because it's a community helping the the community. Um, so we do ask that you give us a call if you have a donation of items um, beforehand so that we can just ask you some questions. Um, the turnaround time for receiving donations and getting them out the door is sometimes within hours. So we ask that the items that you bring us are very gently used and in good condition. Um, if, if they are a majority like in a in really great condition and maybe have something wrong with the brakes on a rollator walker, um, we can see if we can fix it. We have wonderful volunteers who come weekly to, to help us. Um, and so we'll let you know whether or not it's a piece of equipment that we can accept. Um, again, gently used by appointment, give us a call. Um, our space there at our at our office is very limited, so there might be moments um, with throughout the year that we have to pause donations just so that we can process the the donation that we currently have, um, and also it you know get them out the door to create more space. So there might be an, a a time where um, you might not be able to donate your items. Um, if that's ever the case, we will give you a list of other closets, uh, lending programs in our area that might be able to accept that donation. And if we don't have the specific item that you're looking for, we will also give you um, other lending closet options um, to, to reach out to. Um, again, we want to be as helpful as possible to make sure that you get the items that you need. Um, so again, donations, yes, please. That's how we operate and are able to serve the community. So, so you know, just give us a call to set up an appointment. And again, we'll walk through what items you would like to donate. And, um, and so, yes. Um, okay, so let's see. We have... A couple of questions about caregiver you. Um, so right now we do have several options. We do it's right now we have um, we have in person, online, and I believe a, a group in uh, Georgetown has been doing a hybrid program. So both in person and online. Um, so, so there are those options. And when you search for the class that you're interested in signing up for, um, it'll, it'll state that whether, whether or not it's a hybrid program or how they're meeting, whether it's virtual or in, uh, in person. But we do have those different options. Um, we understand that um, leaving the house 
can often be very challenging, especially um, for caregivers. Um, so we we would like to keep you know both in person and virtual opportunities out there and available for 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 the people who um, are you know it's easier for them to to access a virtual class rather than leave the house. Um, sometimes it's really nice to just leave the house if you have that set person, if you're still able to leave your person alone, or you have um, somebody coming over during that specific time, get out, go talk to other people. Um, it's a, it's a, that's one of the really beautiful uh, pieces of these programs, um, the Caregiver U program and the classes. Again, they're small settings, and it's a really wonderful opportunity to just meet other caregivers um, and find that, that uh, peer support. So let's see, yes, the PowerPoint will be available. Um, I will be sending out everything on Monday um, as, as well as the recording. So and it'll probably be Monday um, late afternoon so that we can get the recording processed. Um, so yes, the PowerPoint will be available. Um, oh, you're welcome. I'm glad that this has been helpful. Um, so about the donations, um, the, what we accept uh, are the durable medical equipment. So we have a list, um, and I'll, I'll share a list with everyone um, of what we can accept. So we accept the durable medical equipment, which is like walkers, both standard and rollator, transfer benches for the tub, shower chairs, um, uh, wheelchairs, transport chairs. Um, we accept all of those items that are gently used. Again, because our turnaround time, we have, this is a, a busy program and the phones are ringing nonstop. Um, and so we have a lot of people calling for services. So we need to be able to um, receive an item, clean it up, give it a good inspection, and then send it out the door pretty quickly. Um, again, all by appointments, please. Um, and, and we, again, we wanna make sure that we uh, don't, um, that we save you from a trip, from having to come pick up items that we maybe don't have on hand at the moment, um, or if we're unable to accept a particular item of equipment. Um, we also accept um, incontinence products. So the adult uh, disposable underwear pull-up style or the tab style, which are the ones that open on the sides, um, we can accept those. Uh, we can accept open packages of them. We um, we have a process of, of you know, organizing those and then handing them out to the community. Um, so closed packages, open packages we can accept, um, you know, bed pads, wipes, uh, gloves, if you have any to get rid of, um, we will take them. We do not accept um, prescribed medications um, or medications, uh, any medications, um, we do not prescribe, or we do not accept any oxygen, concentrators, CPAP machines, anything that needs to plug into a wall or you need a prescription for, we cannot accept that. Um, we also cannot accept hospital beds, um, but we have a, a, a resource to, to hand you off, um, to give you if you do have a hospital bed to donate. Um, we have people who, that we know in the community who will accept that. Um, or we can make a connection if we have somebody looking for a hospital bed that's reached out to us, we can help connect them to you. Um, all right, so let's see. It looks like that, that's it for the questions. Again, you're going to receive a lot of information on Monday, um, so take your time going through it. If you want any of the hard copies of the caregiver um, transportation or the caregiver community resource guides or the transportation guides, please, please let me know um, and we can get you scheduled to come pick up items. Um, our building is currently closed to the public, um, but I am there um, pretty much every day, uh, Monday through Friday, and can arrange for you to come pick up um, uh, resources. So, and if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one consultation to, to dive in deeper to maybe some additional 
services in our area. Uh, maybe something I said sparked um, a thought or a need that you maybe hadn't thought about. Um, reach out, let's get a time scheduled to talk. So um, I have, you know, designated time to just solely focus, um, you know, on you and our conversation and, and, and we can, we can do that. Again, thank you all for joining me this morning. I hope it was helpful. Um, and again, if you have any questions about any of the information that's sent out, reach out and uh, we will, we will help you. Wonderful. Thank you. You all have a wonderful day. It's gorgeous. I hope you can get out and uh, just soak in this sun. Happy Saturday.